I went to power shift this weekend. This is what I learned. We've got basically the mass movement that we need against climate change right now. Individuals working with others in their communities can make a huge difference. It was just a massive re-motivator, it just really makes you want to get out. So many different people here um, from lots of different areas of the UK. The energy and the amazing sense of purpose. Actually airing the views as young people of what we actually think. Everyone's got a shared interest. Everyone's really enthusiastic and they're not letting cynicism get in the way. Most of them don't even understand that this food can be grown in London. I didn't realise there's so many people out there who are so up there. I'm really empowered to go and do something now. Thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Suddenly we come along in the West, all goes piercing. We do want to learn about the environment and we do want to implement any skills that you're willing to teach us. It fills you with hope actually and it's, it's been so nice to be with a group of people that think like you and act like you. Young people will be leading the charge. Young people on the front lines. Just so organised and the way they did it was so professional that people can't, you know, people can't just shrug their shoulders and go, oh, the young. The fire exits are there and there. I feel like I have a journalistic duty to walk around and grab the people by their pals and shaking them really hard and saying, do you, do you get how serious this is? And I've just regained the will to be involved and to spread the word. Young people in the UK, I think it's better for you to start something here. The energy, I think, and the fact that we're not alone, and the fact that there's so many encouraged people from like around the world. The main feature of the consequences of climate change for people in this country will be very, very large numbers of environmental refugees trying to come here. Why had I been sent all the way across the world to teach English badly? <laughs> the fishing stocks in the rain were going down. Hearing people's stories and how it's affected them personally is something that's really powerful. Like, it's something that was really, really touching. To hear those stuff was really, really special. The mackerel, which comes every summer, it started to come a lot later and it started to finish. The season started to finish a lot earlier. Proposals of the third runway and not next to us, not near us, but literally right through us. The power of stories to make a difference is really inspiring. And you're more than welcome to come with Leo to lay down in front of my house, but you'll have to ask my mom's permission first. <laughs> the most memorable thing. Seeing people who are older than me and who've been through it before means that I can go back and try and inspire people with my own age. The whole weekend was fantastic. So much positivity and inspiration and action. It's helped me to be more confident uh, to talk with others and uh, about climate change and not to feel alone in this movement. You can do it any time, any age. Everyone is so positive and so motivated and so inspiring. The whole coming together, the feel community, the feel power. You feel like you're uh, on your own, but to come back and feel a part of all these people was absolutely amazing. So. Yeah, that's what I think.